Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the vehicle I've got for you today is a 2016 Toyota RAV4 that just rolled in off the farm. And as you guys just saw, the inside of this vehicle is a horrendous mess. Okay, well taking a quick look around and it looks like the RAV was peppered with snow on the way into town today as the wheel wells are full and the whole back end is covered, though it does look like it's pretty dirty underneath there. But besides all the snow and ice on the outside, the mess inside is going to blow you guys away. From the piles of garbage up front to the massive amounts of dog hair and straw all over, it's clear this vehicle has been used hard on the farm. Every single inch of this interior is filthy and all the dog hair is going to be a huge challenge to remove. But just before this vehicle gets the transformation of a lifetime, take a quick second and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a future video. I post a new one like this every week. Okay guys, well I'm looking forward to blasting all the snow and ice off the RAV4 today and getting it looking brand new again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. Starting on the pre-wash rinse now, and it didn't take long for most of the snow on the vehicle to melt once it was inside my heated garage, and it looks like the exterior isn't looking too bad, so I should be able to move through this step pretty quick today, and I also wanted to let you know that I was able to record the owner's reaction to seeing their transformed vehicle, so make sure you stick around until the end of the video to catch that. Now knowing this vehicle drives on a lot of gravel roads, it's going to be imperative to spray out all the crevices really well as they're going to be full of dirt. Okay, moving to the wheel wells, which are a blend of plastic and carpeted liners, and I figured I'd give you some background on the vehicle. So like I mentioned earlier, it's been used on the farm and has obviously taken a beating as a result, but it also has over 335,000 kilometers on it, or about 208,000 miles. So for a six year old vehicle, that's a crazy amount of driving. But with the owners expecting a baby in the next month or so here, it's time to get it cleaned up so it's ready to haul more precious cargo.
Okay, so I was told when the vehicle was dropped off that the hatch won't stay open on its own, so the owner uses a hockey stick to prop it open. That's a pretty Canadian solution if you ask me. So I'll get it propped open and then very carefully spray out the tailgate jam here as it was full of dirt. Now, since the front bumper was covered in bug guts, I'm going to get some bug remover sprayed on before I foam the vehicle, so that way it will dissolve those bug guts and make removing them with my wash mitt much easier. starting on the floor mats and I did manage to find this one underneath the pile of garbage so the process to get them clean is pretty easy. Spray on a liberal amount of carpet solution, hit them with my green drill brush and then just blast them clean with the pressure washer. And if you guys are curious, yes I do extract the remaining water out of the mats later on when I do the rest of the vehicle and I also give them a final vacuum before they get put back in so that way they're perfect when the owner picks the vehicle up. All right, well, it's time to get to work on the huge job that this interior is going to be. And before I can do anything, I need to get the front seats removed. And when I do, you can see there was quite a bit more garbage and dog hair hiding underneath. Then I'll quickly get all the garbage and personal items removed.
Now after taking a quick look under the back seats, I knew they needed to come out, so another quick 8 bolts later and out they come, which gives me easy access to the huge amount of straw in here, which I'll first gather up the big pieces by hand as I don't want to end up clogging my vacuum trying to suck it up. Okay, well moving to the back where all the straw is and unfortunately for me the carpet in this Toyota is one tiny notch better than the really cheap velcro stuff so getting every little piece of straw and dog hair out is definitely going to be a challenge today. Moving up to the driver's foot well and it's time for this week's members question which comes from Marcus and it's have you ever refused a detail because of how dirty the vehicle was or because of the condition of the vehicle i.e. damage. So the answer to that is no, at least not so far anyways. As you guys may know I've done some tremendously dirty and nasty vehicles and have also done some pretty damaged ones too so while I haven't found my line yet I do suspect it would be lower for a damaged vehicle.
Now with three of the four seats in the vehicle looking like this, vacuuming wasn't a lot of fun today. The combo of the type of dog hair and fabric made it really challenging to get all the hair out as it was just super embedded in the seats. Sometimes it comes out incredibly easy and others, it takes a lot of patience to get them perfect. In the case of these seats, each one took a solid 20 minutes to vacuum and overall vacuuming took three and a half hours today. Now because I get asked all the time whether I clean the entire seat or just the bottom portion, I figured I'd include this for you today to show you that yes, I do clean every inch of the vehicle. Typically I only film the dirtier areas of a vehicle because if I filmed everything these videos could easily be two hours long, so I do have to pick and choose my spots. Now for anyone out there who enjoys detailing their own vehicle, I would highly recommend picking up a set of drill brushes like these green ones I'm using. They are incredibly effective at agitating stains in seats or floor mats, and they can also be used for many other cleaning jobs around the house. So feel free to give them a look on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. They come in a set of three and are a tool I definitely couldn't detail without.
Here's the half bucket full of dirty water pulled from the RAV4 today. Gross. Now as I continue steaming around the interior, one area that can't be overlooked is the pedals and for that I'll switch over to the stiffer brush attachment as it gets down into the little grooves better and in a lot of cases the dirt is really stuck in there, but hitting it with steam is the real key so if anyone has ever considered picking up a steamer, well I can assure you you won't regret it, they work incredibly well and are a ton of fun to use, the link to the one I use is down in the description for you. What is going on here? Can a guy help out his brother every once in a while? Sure he can. Well, all right then. All right, well, as Mike continues to be his super goofy self, I wanted to quickly remind you that episode six of the Studio Build series is live over on the second channel, The Detail Geek 2. The concrete and grade beams are getting prepped for the floor coating, which is the first of the finishings in the studio, so it's really exciting to see. Be sure to head over there after this one to give it a look.
Okay, to tackle all this really dirty glass, I'm first spraying on some of my Detail Geek glass cleaner directly onto a waffle weave towel, which avoids any overspray or drips, and it doesn't take more than a few seconds, and the glass is perfectly clean and streak free. Shiny in a long time. Yeah, it's looking good. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. <laughs> we look inside? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's where most of the work was. So. <laughs> oh, wow. It's yeah. It's like new car day, Kyron. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You're oh, we forgot to tell you. <laughs> pretty amazing. This is awesome. There's no more straw and dog hair in there. I was so embarrassed, but I was just like, his truck didn't, like, the transmission was broken, and I was like, well, I gotta get that stuff somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we used it for lots of stuff that Chili got used for. No. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. I yeah. feel, like, so much better yeah. now, because yeah. I was afraid to put a baby in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> What's the now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, thank you so know, much. Who wants these? But uh, oh, okay, here you go. Enjoy it. All right guys, well 12 long hours later and all the straw and dog hair is gone and the RAV4 is looking better than brand new. Now if you guys enjoyed this transformation, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.